Lonnie Walker IV just signed with the Celtics. Two Celtics videos in a row, I know, but we gotta talk about the news that happened today. Yesterday I was talking about, should the Celtics be the championship favorite? Like, should they be the title favorite? And I love this pickup of Lonnie Walker IV. I was saying in that video that they should be considered one of the favorites, of course. Lonnie Walker IV, I talked about him when I was talking about free agents that were still remaining. I was shocked that nobody had picked him up yet. This is a huge steal by the Celtics if he ends up being on the roster, which I'll talk about in a second, you know, the stipulations. But like the fact that Lonnie Walker IV literally did not have a contract until now is mind boggling to me. Maybe there's things that we don't know, like, you know, inside the locker room, those kind of things. And we wouldn't know those things, but like on the court, Lonnie Walker IV is good. Like. He is a good player, good enough to have a contract. Like, again, the fact that he didn't have any contract, like I said, maybe he, you know, had offers from other teams and he didn't want to go there, <laughs> like from teams that aren't going to compete. So we don't know. But I was just shocked that a player who is, you know, as good as he is, I'm not saying he's like a star, but as good as he is, he definitely was shocked that he didn't have a contract. Wow, that segment was super repetitive, <laughs> but you get my point. Now here's the thing, Lonnie Walker IV signed with the Celtics, but it's on an Exhibit 10 contract, which is even more shocking to me. The fact that it's literally not even a guaranteed contract, that's what Exhibit 10 means. So he's invited to training camp. If he is waived, his deal is not guaranteed, and then he could go sign with their G League team and become a two-way player and then, you know, all this kind of stuff, which is fine, but like, is Lonnie, or like, am I missing something? Is Lonnie Walker the fourth? <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. Like an exhibit 10? Because to me, personally, if he was, let's say he was given a standard contract and maybe they couldn't like financially, I don't know. I, that doesn't seem right to me. But like, maybe there was some kind of financial stipulation that they couldn't at this time. I don't know. Someone correct me if they know the, you know, the details of all the financials of every team. But before I saw it was an exhibit 10, I was like, wow. What a steal by the Celtics because Lonnie Walker IV can be such a spark off the bench. I think I compared him last time to like a Jordan Clarkson type. Not that they play exactly the same or anything like that, but just like Lonnie Walker IV can just go get 15, you know, on his own little run in two minutes. Exaggerating, but I'm making a point. So someone with that kind of ability to score like that and is very athletic, like, I can't believe that it's not a guaranteed contract. Because if it was, which was my original thought, I was like, oh, okay, so that means Peyton Pritchard and Sam Hauser are really not going to get many minutes. More so Peyton Pritchard than Sam Hauser because Sam Hauser is an insanely good three-point shooter. And so he will still get time on the floor no matter what just because he can space the floor and knock down threes. But I basically was like, okay, Peyton Pritchard is not getting any minutes at this point because Lonnie Walker the fourth in my opinion, is a better player than Pritchard at this point. And I do also think he is a better player than Sam Hauser, and that is no disrespect to either of them. They, of course, you know, work hard, and they are good players. I just personally feel like he was going to take their minutes in the rotation, but again, Sam Hauser would still get in just because of his super, super good three-point shooting skills. <laughs> like, he would still find some time here and there, but Lonnie Walker would be eating their minutes. So, again... It's an Exhibit 10, which means he's not even guaranteed a roster spot. So now my whole thought process is, one, this could still be a huge steal for the Celtics. Like I said, I thought he would be like the seventh man off the bench. Because at this point, the sixth man would be Al Horford. And then the seventh man would probably be Lonnie Walker, you know, in this case. Or something like that. But he's not even guaranteed a contract. Like I'm saying, like... Maybe I missed something watching Lonnie Walker the fourth, but is he really that unwanted in the league that he can't even get a guaranteed contract? And he's not old. He's literally like 25. He's in his prime. And I know he's had injuries. And I guess, you know, compared to where he was drafted, maybe he hasn't lived up to the hype or the potential that people had for him when he was drafted. And, you know, that's your opinion, whatever you believe. But again, he's still a good enough player to me where I just can't imagine why he's on an Exhibit 10. But either way, this is a win for the Celtics. I hope he makes the roster because 
I think he's that good. Of course, if he's healthy and all that stuff. But, like, I think he makes the Celtics much better. Okay, much better is <laughs> is stretching it a bit, you know, because obviously they were very good and they just won the championship. But he gives them the necessary depth that they may have been lacking. At worst, at worst, he's a scoring punch off the bench and gives Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown extra time to rest because at least you know he'll come in and get up shots. <laughs> Maybe they won't all go in, and so obviously sometimes that's not great, but you know at least he will try to score and put pressure on the defense. And that is something that I feel like the Celtics didn't have much of last season. Like outside of obviously their starting five, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, of course, we know they go to the rim, especially Jalen Brown. But I'm saying, like, off the bench, it was really Al Horford, who has been an amazing player in his whole career, but at this point, you know, he's like 39. He can't be doing all those things. And then Sam Hauser, like I talked about, is more of a three-point shooter. He's not going to back you down in the paint, and he's not going to, like, he's not super athletic. He's not going to drive to the rim like Lonnie Walker would, and just, like, He's going to spot up for threes. And every NBA player, like, got to this point because at some point they, like, could handle the ball in the way for the most part. Like, maybe some of the centers never, <laughs> never played point at all. But, like, I feel like it's different nowadays. I feel like they all play point at some point. So I'm sure Sam Hauser, if he's by himself in the gym, can create his own shot, right? But, like, in an NBA game, he's not creating his own shot. He has other players creating the shot for him. And Peyton, Peyton Pritchard, while he can create his own shot compared to Sam Hauser, I do feel like he still needs to polish his game a bit more. Again, no disrespect. I'm saying this in the most respectful way possible. I Again, I think they're good players. I think they put in the work. But I do think Lonnie Walker is better. And Lonnie Walker, like I said, can create his own shot, can get to the rim. He can shoot the three. Is he as good a three-point shooter as Sam Hauser? No. But like... He can do all these little things, and I just, <laughs> I really hope he makes the roster because I really do think he makes the Celtics better. Again, at worst, he's just an additional scorer off the bench. You can never have too much scoring. <laughs> like, obviously you need defense, but they have a bunch of good defenders. Like, he is going to bring scoring off the bench, and you may need it when Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown don't have it going. And again, we just discussed where Sam Hauser and Peyton Pritchard shine, but also where they don't shine as much, at least for now. They have time to develop their game and, you know, add things in, and I hope that they do. But Lonnie Walker IV may be... Saying the missing piece is the wrong thing because they just won the championship, so that's not the correct term, but, like, just makes them better. 